Over the past few years, um, a new therapy that has developed that's been able to help patients with chronic back or neck pain that radiates to their arms or down to their legs is called neuromodulation. Another term for it is spinal cord stimulation. Um, the procedure involves um, threading electric leads up into the spinal uh, area in the epidural space uh, to modulate pain signals, thereby interfering with um, the sensation of pain. And so instead of patients feeling the pain sensation down their legs or shooting down their arms, uh, they feel a vibratory sense that um, interferes with that signal. Um, the ideal candidate for this kind of a procedure would be somebody who's had um, chronic pain or even pain that's been present for um, a year or greater uh, due to some kind of pinched nerves or some kind of um, central canal stenosis, meaning that the area that their spinal cord is in is um, narrowed due to arthritis or you know some other kind of um, disease process. So um, anybody who has had prior uh, surgery in their neck or prior surgery in their spine who continues to have pain shooting in those areas um, can benefit from this kind of a procedure. One other thing to consider is that patients who have um, headaches uh, that go up into the sides of their um, uh, scalp area, they can also be good candidates for this kind of therapy. Um, oftentimes diabetic patients are affected with something called peripheral neuropathy where they feel burning in their hands, constant numbness and tingling in their feet. They can also be candidates for this kind of a trial. And the reason I say trial is because there's two um, steps to this procedure. So the first step involves um, a, a five to seven day trial where the electric leads are placed into the epidural space. There is a um, external stimulator that is then um, taped to the skin area, either around the shoulders or the low back, and it's a temporary placement of the leads to assure whether the patient is actually feeling any relief of their symptoms. Um, during those seven days, we encourage the patient to engage in their regular activities, day-to-day -day activities. The only restrictions during that time is really, you know, no twisting, bending, heavy lifting so that the leads really stay in place and we get the maximal um, testing to see whether the patient's getting any relief or not. If during those five to seven days, um, you know, a patient feels nearly 50% or more relief of the symptoms they've been having before, then we move on and we talk about a permanent placement. The permanent placement can be done one of two ways. Um, it can be done uh, in a procedure called a percutaneous placement, or it can be done um, a, you know, through a, a small, minimally invasive surgery called a laminectomy and a paddle placement. So that can be done uh, you know, through neurosurgery or through pain management. Um, generally, after that, um, patients are able to move on and, and live a normal life. They feel um, a significant relief from their pain and they're a lot happier with their daily activity.